The Bamar, Burmese, MLCTS, Ba, Ma Lu Myui, IPA, BMA Lumjo, also historically the Burmese and Burmans, are the dominant ethnic group in Myanmar. Bamar people live primarily in the Irrawaddy River Basin and speak the Burmese language, which is the official language of Myanmar. Bamar customs and identity are closely intertwined with the broader Burmese culture. The Bamar people are often imprecisely called Burmese. Though this term in contemporary usage can refer to any citizen of Myanmar, regardless of ethnicity. Origins The Bamar speak Burmese, a Sino-Tibetan language. The Burmese-speaking people first migrated from present-day Yunnan, China to the Irrawaddy Valley in the 7th century. Over the following centuries, the Burmese speakers absorbed other ethnic groups such as the Pyu and the Mon. A limited 2014 DNA analysis shows that Burmese people were typical Southeast Asian, but also with Northeast Asian and Indian influences, and that the gene pool of the Bamar was far more diverse than other ethnic groups such as the Karen. Ninth century Chinese sources indicate that Sino Tibetan speaking tribes were present near today's Irrawaddy River. These tribes were considered ancestors of Bamar people. Language Burmese, is spoken by the Bamar but is also widely spoken by ethnic minorities. Its core vocabulary consists of Sino-Tibetan words, but many terms associated with Buddhism, arts, sciences, and government have derived from the Indo-European languages of Pali and English. The Rakhine, although culturally distinct from the Bamar, are ethnically related to them and speak a dialect of Burmese that includes retention of the R sound, which has coalesced into the J sound in standard Burmese, although it is still present in orthography. Additional dialects come from coastal areas of Tanandari region, including Maik, Beek, and Dewey, Tavoyan, as well as inland and isolated areas, like Ya. Other dialects are Tongyoi, Danu, and Intha in Shan state. English was introduced in the 1800s when the Bamar first came into contact with the British as a trading nation and continued to flourish under subsequent colonial rule. Distribution The Bamar are most numerous in Myanmar, constituting the majority ethnic group. Many have settled in Europe, particularly in Great Britain. The Burmese diaspora, which is a recent phenomenon in historical terms and began at the start of World War II, has been mainly brought about by a protracted period of military rule and reflects the ethnic diversity of Myanmar. The Anglo-Burmese following Burmese independence in 1948 began moving to the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and North America, to be followed by the Bamar themselves. It is by no means confined to the West, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Australia, Korea, and Japan are also popular destinations. Burmese settled in Australia, New Zealand, and the UK tend to be overwhelmingly of Anglo-Burmese origins. Culture and society Bamar culture has been influenced by the cultures of neighboring countries. This is manifested in its language, cuisine, music, dance and theater. The arts, particularly literature, have historically been influenced by the local form of the religion Theravada Buddhism. In a traditional village, the monastery is the center of cultural life. Monks are venerated and supported by the lay people. Rites of passage are also of cultural importance to the Bamar. These include Shinbyu, a novitiate ceremony for Buddhist boys, and Narda, an ear-piercing ceremony for girls. Burmese culture is most evident in villages where local festivals are held throughout the year, the most important being the Pagoda Festival. Many villages have a guardian gnat, and superstition and taboos are commonplace. Traditional dress The Bamar traditionally wore sarongs. Women wear a type of sarong known as HTMAN, while men wear a sarong sewn into a tube, called a long yi, or, more formally, a single long piece wrapped around the hips, known in Burmese as a paso. Formal attire often consists of gold jewelry, silk scarves, and jackets. On formal occasions, men often wear cloth turbans called gong bong, and mandarin collared jackets called takepon, while women wear blouses. Both genders wear velvet sandals called gadiba fanat, also called mandalay fanat, although leather, rubber and plastic sandals, halit. Japanese shoes, are also worn. 
In cities and urban areas, western dress, including t-shirts, jeans and sports shoes or trainers, has become popular, especially among the younger generation. Talismanic tattoos, earrings, and long hair tied in a knot were once common among Bamar men, but have ceased to be fashionable since after World War II. Men in shorts and sporting ponytails, as well as both sexes with bleached hair, have made their appearance in Yangon and Mandalay more recently, especially in the Anything Goes atmosphere of the Burmese New Year holiday known as Thingyan. Westernization mostly comes via Japan and Singapore. Bamar people of both sexes and all ages also wear thanaka, especially on their faces, although the practice is largely confined to women, children and young, unmarried men. Western makeup and cosmetics have long enjoyed a popularity in urban areas. However, thanaka is not exclusively worn by the Bamar, as many other ethnic groups throughout Burma utilize this cosmetic. Cuisine Bamar cuisine contains many regional elements, such as stir-frying techniques and curries which can be hot but lightly spiced otherwise, almost always with fish paste as well as onions, garlic, ginger, dried chili and turmeric. Rice, H. T. Amin, is the staple, although noodles, H. Coke Sui, salads, Pathuk, and breads, Pong Mont, are also eaten. Green tea is often the beverage of choice, but tea is also traditionally pickled and eaten as a salad called lapat. The best known dish of Bamar origin is mohinga, rice noodles in a fish broth. It is available in most parts of the region, also considered as the national dish of Myanmar. Dishes from other ethnic minorities such as the Shah, Chinese, and Indian, are also consumed. Music Traditional music of Myanmar consists of an orchestra mainly of percussion and wind instruments but the song gok, a boat-shaped harp, is often symbolic of the bamar. Other traditional instruments include patala, Burmese xylophone, walakak, lagwan, and sangwain. Modern bamar music is typically westernized, with influences particularly from American country music. However, rap and hip-hop have also gained popularity. Traditional bamar dancing is similar to Thai dancing. Puppetry is also a popular form of entertainment and is often performed at PWAs, which is a generic term for shows, celebrations and festivals. In urban areas, movies from both Bollywood and Hollywood have long been popular, but more recently Korean and Chinese films, especially DVDs, have become increasingly popular. Festivals Buddhist festivals and holidays are widely celebrated by the Bamar people. Thingyan, the water festival, which marks the beginning of the Burmese New Year in April, is one such example. Thadingyat, which marks the end of the Buddhist Lent, is celebrated with the Festival of Lights in October. Kathina a robe offering ceremony for monks is held at the start of Lent in July and again in November. Religion The majority of the Bamar are Theravada Buddhists. People are expected to keep the basic five precepts and practice dana, charity, sila, Buddhist ethics, and vipassana, meditation. Most villages have a monastery and often a stupa maintained and supported by the villagers. Annual pagoda festivals usually fall on a full moon, and robe offering ceremonies for bhikkhus are held both at the beginning and after the vasa. This coincides with the monsoons, during which the upasatha is generally observed once a week. Children were educated by monks before secular state schools came into being. A shinbyu ceremony by which young boys become novice monks for a short period is considered the most important duty of Buddhist parents. Christian missionaries had made little impact on the Bamar despite the popularity of missionary schools in cities. The Bamar practice Buddhism along with Nat worship which predated Buddhism. It involves rituals relating to a pantheon of 37 Nats or spirits designated by King Anuradha, although many minor Nats are also worshipped. In villages, many houses have outdoors altars to honor Nats, called Nat Ein, in addition to one outside the village known as Nat Sin, often under a bow tree Ficus religiosa. Indoors in many households, one may find a coconut called Nat Oun up the main post for the Einwan Min Mahajiri, Halit, Indoor Lord of the Great Mountain, considered one of the most important of the Nats. The term, Bamar, is sometimes used to refer to both the practice of Buddhism as well as the ethnic identity. 
Bamar Muslims, however, practice Islam and claim ethnic Bamar heritage and culture in all matters other than religion. Naming In the past, the Bamar typically had shorter names, usually limited to one or two syllables. However, the trend of adopting longer names, four or five for females and three for males, has become popular. Bamar names also frequently make use of Pali-derived loan words. Bamar people typically use the day of birth, traditional eight-day calendar, which includes Yahu, Wednesday afternoon, as the basis for naming, although this practice is not universal. Letters from groups within the Burmese alphabet are designated to certain days, from which the Bamar choose names, they are chosen as follows. See also Culture of Myanmar Demographics of Myanmar Danu people Rakhine people Notes References Bibliography External links the Silken East, a record of life and travel in Burma by V. C. Scott O'Connor 1904 Y. Key, 15 June 2007. Burmese Women's Hair in Big Demand. The Irrawaddy. Archived from the original on of November 2007.